50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Welcome to the world of video games, a world where you go wherever you choose to go, where you become whoever you want to be. Here, you are in control. Being such an involving and active form of entertainment, gamers around the world constantly demand more from each game and the devices that they are played on. Video games are played on mobile phones, the home PC, and also television sets. Powerful consoles such as PS3, Xbox 360, PS2, Nintendo V, PSP, and the Game Boy widen the choices of the gamer looking for a challenge. Educational games improve a child's strategic thinking and planning skills. The wide variety of games such as casual games, action, adventure, strategy, sports are absolute thrill. Today there's a game for everyone. The worldwide video game market has exhibited above average growth and is expected to grow to 42 billion US dollars by 2010. The game industry revenue is estimated to be more than the revenue that even Hollywood brings in. The game industry comprises of large companies like Disney, Atari, Electronic Arts, Epic, Microsoft, ID, Nintendo, IDOS, THQ, Sony, Ubisoft and Warner Brothers. Game outsourcing or distributed development is becoming a key element in the production of most successful video games. A booming industry requires professionals who are dedicated and passionate about quality. This provides huge potential for developers in Eastern Europe, Asia and specifically India. What you actually see today are companies like Microsoft, EA Sports, Sony and the likes bringing out projects to the Indian market. There are a lot of game studios in India you know, doing great projects for these great companies. What you need right now is trained people, is trained manpower. Indian game companies have been working on games for the international and domestic market for over a decade now. As per the latest NASCOM report, the estimated value of the game industry in India stands at 212 million US dollars. However, a key challenge for this sector is lack of suitably trained people. Quality education is the key. We're beginning to take our first steps when it comes to uh, formal training for gaming because people that come into the gaming industry need to come with, uh, with a sense of uh, uh, having both a, a visualization, uh, a sense of uh, passion for the art and the art form, but also there is a very serious uh, component of programming uh, and for this we need people that have uh, a sound knowledge of physics and mathematics, uh, even engineers. There will always be a demand for people. To be in this industry you need, you need to be passionate, uh, for sure. Uh, you also need to uh, be very hard working, you need to be able to um, uh, put in a lot of time to develop, hone your skills, uh, it's, it's fast changing, it's, it's 
the technology changes, the benchmark of uh, quality changes and you've got to constantly keep pace with it. There is a lot of demand. There have been companies which have come into India and they have wanted talent but the talent hasn't just been available. Turning talent into jobs in this sector is very challenging and requires a high level of commitment from all the stakeholders. At Hega, we are committed to developing holistic, interdisciplinary professionals required in the game system. Aiga is located in Bangalore, India. Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India, contributes to 33% of India's IT exports. The city is also home to some of the best educational institutions in India and hosts students from all over the world. Aiga, by virtue of being the first dedicated game development institute in India, adds to the unique flavor of Bangalore. At Aiga, Students are trained to take on new and never seen before challenges. Each day enhances their knowledge on video games and game development. AIGA imparts education in par with international benchmarks. AIGA course has been developed with uh, good blend in inter, uh, industry and ac academic methodology in partnership with Wolverhampton University UK. Wolverhampton University is in the Midlands, uh, known as the gaming hub of Europe, and also with Middle East College of Information Technology, uh, one of the leading IT colleges in the, in, in the GCC. It's been a, my biggest passion to play uh, and make games for a very long time, and uh, I'm here to pursue it as a career option. I enjoy games much more than I enjoy anything else. So, why not uh, make it my career and be in this industry for a long time as, as have much as much fun as I can have. With an industry so fast-paced and dynamic, successes depend on how well they can hone their skills and channel their creativity towards the task at hand. The quality bar is really high. We at IGA understand the quality and the benchmark needed to work in a game studio. We prepare each student to match up to industry standards and expectations. Hence, we have built industry relevant courseware which takes students through the basic concepts and methods of developing game assets depending on the target platform. In terms of uh, infrastructure that we have over here, each student gets systems which are pretty much on par with industry and these are systems that you would find in some of the better studios uh, not just in India but around the world so each student gets a system with uh, dual monitors for instance and um, back home tablets and many students are not really uh, exposed to games as such so this is a good chance for them to uh, play games not from uh, not just to enjoy games but also to see from developer's perspective to study games and to understand and to reflect what they see in those games in the work that they do. Shailesh Watsa and Joshi Mark with more than a decade's experience in game development are a formidable duo. They worked on the first outsourced game project to India.